The Foam Leg STP Frog. Go to a size 1 B10S Gamakatsu Stinger Hook. And place it firmly in the jaws of your vise. Now load a bobbin with Danville's 210 denier flat wax nylon. Start the thread behind the eye of the hook before cutting the tag end off. Then make a thread base between the barb of the hook and the eye. Now go to the STP foam body cutter here in size 6. With the end matched up to the piece of end of the piece of foam, go ahead and press down on the cutting mat on a 2mm piece of brown craft foam. And prick it free from the stencil. Now, with the end facing towards the eye, go ahead and tie it directly on top of the hook. You should reach the body right as you reach the bend of the hook. Now using the same body cutter, go to a 2mm piece of orange craft foam. If it doesn't come out perfectly, go ahead and cut it with scissors. Make sure it matches up with the brown piece of foam. But this time, invert your hook in your vise and tie it on the bottom part of the shank. Fold both pieces over to make sure they fit well. Now go to the STP foam leg cutter here in, also in size 6. Fold the piece of brown foam over the width of the cutter. Match the open end with the bent piece of the bent the crease of the foam and push it down as you're cutting two times as much foam now. If it doesn't come out perfectly, again, pull it apart carefully or go in with scissors and cut the rest. Now is the time to color it if you would like. Bring the legs up to your hook. Put them towards the back end of the fly and go ahead and use criss-cross wraps to secure them on top of the hook shank. Make sure to keep them bending back in an orderly fashion. Then bring your thread up towards the eye. Go to some super glue. Place a couple dots on the top of the hook shank. Try to stay away from the eye. Then push the piece of brown foam over the shank and press it down onto the metal to set the glue. Invert your fly and put some more super glue on the belly of it. Then push the orange piece over. Go ahead and push the two pieces of foam together so it will set. Now, make a segment with the crease in the foam with your thread and make sure that the two flaps pop open at the head. Now go to some medium round rubber legs here in brown. Get a section that is three inches in width, uh, three legs in width. Pull it down about three inches and do an overhand, overhand knot about an inch from one end. Then go ahead and cut it free. Now do the same to another piece. Make sure each knot is cinched down well. Now, go ahead and take one and tie it on the near side at that segment of thread. Make sure the knot extends about half a hook shank past the segment. And then go ahead and cut the back section of the rubber legs off, close. Now do the same to the far section. Make sure they're directly on each side of the foam body. Make sure the knots line up by pushing them ahead past the hook eye. 
Then go ahead and cut the rest of the body off. Push the rubber legs off and cut about a centimeter above each knot. Then go ahead with a whip finisher or needle, go ahead and prick out the rubber legs, making three fingers. You can whip finish now if you'd like, but to make sure that the white thread isn't sticking out, I like to color it orange. This gives a more natural look and doesn't stain the tube of your bobbin. Color it a couple of inches and then give a three or five turn whip finish. Make sure the rubber legs are adjusted and cut your thread off. Now go to some small googly eyes. Place two drops of super glue, one on each side towards the back of the head on the piece of brown foam. Place an eye on each drop and press it down to set the glue. Once the glue is set, the fly is ready to be fished. 